Hello to John Jay College of Criminal Justice. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, families and friends of the graduates, and most of all, you, the class of 2020. Now, I'm really sorry I can't join you in person, as I do almost every year, but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this very special day. As we all know, these are really difficult times perhaps more difficult than most of us have ever experienced. There are two aspects to this pandemic that make things all the more challenging. The first is our uncertainty. This virus is brand new and our lack of knowledge about it. How do we get the virus? How is it spread? How does it affect different people differently? When will we have an effective antiviral medication and vaccine? Most of all, how soon can we get back to normal? And the second aspect that's just as bad is that we have to isolate ourselves. We New Yorkers, during times of trouble, like to come together and be with each other, share experiences together. After 9-11, I stood with President Bush on the pile. No partisan divisions. We came together as Americans and New Yorkers. After Sandy, I walked the streets and beaches of New York City and Long Island and hooked people. But we can't do that now. We have to remain isolated. So the challenges of this moment are truly unique. But so has been our collective response. The fact that we're finding new ways to do things like celebrating this graduation virtually just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything, anything, stop us from honoring what's so important. First, I'd like to say a quick word to the parents. Nothing, nothing will take away your decades of hard work raising your children, for which they and all of us are so very grateful. And while this day may be tempered by worries about the future, at least there's one silver line. You're not seated in the balcony way in the back. You get to sit next to your son and daughter, give them a hug as they receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads. And one more word of thanks. Today, as we're celebrating right now, there are men and women all across the state and nation who are serving on the front lines, risking their lives in the battle against coronavirus. Doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, pharmacists, ambulance drivers, food workers, police officers, firefighters, and so many more. They are our heroes. And I am working in Congress to create a COVID-19 Heroes Fund, which would provide pandemic premium pay to all essential workers. Let's have a virtual round of applause for them. Now to the class of 2020. I know this may not be what you pictured even a few months ago, but today is still your day. All of your hard work has earned you a degree from a fine institution of higher learning, and nothing can take that away from you. Right now, it may feel like the future is a dark hole, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, doing things in a better way. So my message for the class of 2020 is simple. It's natural to hear the unknown. But don't let the harshness of this current moment prevent you from seizing opportunities. They're out there. And don't forget, you have incredible assets. A college degree, from a great institution, loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our society will overcome this pandemic and so will you. And when the worst is over, we we'll need your help to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. You are our future leaders. We faith in you. So to the graduates, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul. On behalf of Governor Cuomo, myself, and the entire state of New York, I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2020 and to all the people, your family, your friends, your professors, who helped you make it here today. You made it. I have to say this is not the graduation speech I plan to deliver, just like this is not the graduation ceremony you expected just a few short months ago. But as you have learned already, the ability to adapt is a survival technique that each of you have had to perfect. You are now entering into a world which has been radically altered. Forces beyond our control have changed our economy, our society, and indeed have changed each and every one of us. You are now bonded with others from the class of 2020 across the nation in a shared moment of history that will define a generation. I can guarantee that at your 50th reunion, 
you'll be talking about what you endured, the sacrifices you made, the loss of connection to your classmates and your professors. And you had the additional hardship of finishing your education through enormous stress. But through it all, missing the final days with your friends and the celebration of graduation, you endured. And it is that endurance, resiliency, and a toughness coupled with the compassion and newfound appreciation for people in all walks of life, from healthcare workers to grocery store cashiers to countless fellow citizens who selflessly rose to meet the occasion. All this has built a foundation for your character that will serve you for as long as you live. It may not feel like it yet, but your experience surviving the global pandemic of 2020 is a rock upon which you will measure all future challenges, setbacks, and whatever life throws you away. Just like the greatest generation who endured and survived the Great Depression and World War II, you and members of your class have had the potential to be the generation held in esteem and awe for your grit and your spirit of determination that got you to this graduation today. And this will carry you forward into a world of uncertainty, yet a world of possibility. In history class, you heard how the greatest generation led many to achieve the elusive American dream. Now your country is turning to you, our next generation, for inspiration and hope as we define our legacy and look toward a more just and civil society. So more than just earning the right to wear a cap and tassel on your head, you have earned the right to wear the mantle of responsibility on your shoulder that comes with what you've accomplished despite all the unimaginable adversity that you overcame. Class of 2020, as the curtain of social distancing and isolation begins to lift and we venture out from this period of darkness, I challenge you to define the new American dream as we collectively search to learn lessons from our shared experience. Use your newly acquired education and your passion to be a catalyst to shape our post-pandemic society in one that promotes generosity, love, and kindness. That's exactly what this world needs right now. And you can lead the way. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. I'm Council Member Helen Rosenthal. I represent John Jay College in the New York City Council and want to take a few minutes today to honor and congratulate the resilient, motivated and talented John Jay class of 2020. We recognize all of your hard work and perseverance, especially now. We salute your accomplishments, academic and otherwise. Each of you has shown great fortitude during these very difficult times. Members and family members of the John Jay community, including students, have died during the pandemic. My heart goes out to these families, especially. Many of John Jay's students, along with John Jay faculty and alumni, are serving on the COVID-19 front lines. Our city thanks you. I know this has been a very painful time for all of us, but you give us reason for hope. You represent the best of our city. Many of you are preparing to work in the public sector and serve our communities, or you are already doing so. Some of you will go on to law school and apply your legal training to the never-ending fight for justice around the world. Many of you are first-generation college students. You have accomplished so much and you're just beginning. Sometimes it feels like our country is being torn apart, but you have shown us that a different path is possible. Together, all of you have built an inclusive and diverse community that is drawn from our city, our country, and across the world. You have shown a unique commitment to intellectual pursuits and service. Through John Jay's liberal arts curriculum, you have explored justice in its many dimensions. You have engaged in original research and experiential learning. You have questions, assumptions. You have considered multiple perspectives and you have thought critically. You have also nurtured a humility 
that comes from being part of such a diverse community. You are fierce advocates for justice. This combination of critical thinking and humility born of understanding is in short supply today. More than ever, the world needs critical thinkers who are guided by ethics and capable of seeing how they fit into a much bigger picture. And of course, you are passionate about shaping the future. This is why you've been working so hard so you can take your place as global citizens and leaders. I also want to thank the exceptional John Jay faculty and administration who have guided you on this journey. So in closing, congratulations on your great success. I hope you know how proud we are of you. And please find a way to thank the people who have helped you get to this point. Even though we may be physically separated, we are all sharing in this happy moment together. Congratulations, class of 2020.